here trying to put them paws on Fatima. And Calvin wanted to go down to the airport to confront Danny. And Q running around here calling Maurice like he not a wanted felon. I cannot. Let's talk about it. This is my episode 20 preview video. Let's talk about this trailer and get into the mess that is sisters. All right, y'all. So the trailer for this episode starts off where episode 19 leaves off with Karen walking in. She overheard part of the conversation between Fatima and Andy. And then she kind of starts to lose it from what you can tell with this trailer. Part of it is her checking Andy for, I guess, her support for Fatima and Zach. And then the other part is her actually getting into it with Fatima. And Fatima ain't no, ain't never been no, so <laughs> she ain't gonna back down. Y'all know, if y'all subscribe to the channel, you already know that I'm an empathizer with Karen, that I actually like karen's character but i'm going to tell you right now karen back 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 sis fatima will mop the floor with you she will dog walk your ass up and down that law firm back it up calm it down lower the tone it it, it don't seem like it's going to end well for you sis and i want the best go ahead and stop it we ain't gonna call her a b we ain't gonna call her too many more of them as she has said in this trailer and y'all i knew that it was coming i knew that fatima and karen were gonna converse at some point but i didn't anticipate it being so volatile i didn't anticipate on it being so aggressive my black women can we just where's the moroccan mint tea let's talk let's sit let's be calm i'm, I'm just saying I'm hoping that by the end of the episode that they can hash this out. I foresee Karen apologizing to Fatima at some point, so I'm not going to jump all the way out the window with it. She definitely comes in a little bit hot. I definitely think whatever is on this letter has something to do with why she's agitated, and Andy's going to have to handle that because it's probably something that she ain't handled before. And then also, y'all, I do think that she has a very valid reason for being annoyed with Andy because Andy has been playing both sides. Andy has been being very weird and just not being as supportive of a friend as she should be and yes Andy is also Fatima's friend but she doesn't do a really good job of setting clear boundaries Andy like to push forward mess and if she was really going to be removed from it then she should have been removed from it she's over here bigging up Fatima supporting Fatima in, in the relationship with Zach meanwhile her homegirl Karen is going through and she ain't got much or nothing to say to her going and missing an action and like all of that and it's just like it's giving fake it's giving you ain't being the friend supposed to be and i'm just gonna call a spade a spade not that i think that karen is acting to be together y'all because i ain't saying that at all i'm just saying andy's dropping the ball right now when it comes to friendship and she needs to draw clear boundaries but you know she don't even do that for her personal life she don't even really show up for her own self in her personal life so how much can we expect her to do for others let's just be real and all y'all that's out here capping for fatima and andy's friendship be careful because andy's doing all this affirming now but then she goes missing and focuses on herself and when fatima really need her i do feel like andy she's gonna drop the ball the same way that she has done with her other friends but you know i'm a i digress <laughs> moving on in the trailer we get to see q standing outside somewhere it looks like he might be actually standing right outside the bank and he's calling maurice and honestly there's a few storylines that i struggle with on sisters but by golly miss smiley this one is probably the worst i don't understand what this boy wants i don't understand what this boy needs or why he is even still around why do you keep calling maurice you held this man at gunpoint first of all you had sex with him tried to charge him for it and then held this man at gunpoint and his co-worker at like what embarrassed this man threatened this man's life you did all this stuff and then now you calling off soft tone and baby eyed for what what do you want maurice ain't got nothing that you could use right now you need to get out of jail free card you need to be calling the monopoly man not maurice okay because your, your ass is going to jail as soon as they find you I definitely think that we're going to see that continue through the rest of the season because he's been popping out like every two to three episodes, which is kind of annoying. I really hope that Tyler Perry wraps this up because Maurice is so much more than Q and this raggedy storyline they're trying to give when it comes to him. Not only does he call Maurice, but then he also pops up in Maurice's house. And all I know is that Maurice needs to call the police. That boy needs to go to jail in this episode or in the next, but he needs to go to jail point blank period i don't even want to hear anything he gotta say after that we get to see calvin show up at the airport because he wants to confront danny so you showed up at the bank to make a deposit and then ask sabrina to go to dinner and then your next order of business was to go to the bank and and cuss her friend out make it make sense sir what is it that you want what is your mission why are you here why are you here calvin but i'm glad danny comes out and actually speaks her truth and she tells him like yo my problem with you is that i think that you're actually in the closet and i don't like you for my friend and she said what she said 
I'm not going to say that he's in the closet, but I don't know what's going on with him. And all I'm going to chuck it up to is that y'all are incompatible. So stop trying to make this square fit into this circle hole. Just stop it. Go find a square. Where's Peggy? She's been pegging you well. Go ahead and keep that going because this is all too much. You're showing up at her friend's job, trying to check them. Like, no, nah, it don't even take all this. Or at least I hope not. Not in 2021 because I'm going to stay single if that's what it is. And then before the trailer ends, we get to see a moment where Andy speaks with Robin. And um, of course, they're going to recount their lovely little threesome that they had the night before. What I'm trying to understand is wasn't Robin supposed to be on a plane already? Wasn't he supposed to be on a plane last week, three days ago, and even today? And now he's back in Andy's office with these sultry ass eyes, making these looks and innuendos like, sir, are you going back to London or are you not? Because at this point, you over here turning Andy out, you sending mixing, like you doing all of this stuff that ain't actually what you said you wanted to be doing. I mean, I guess you wanted to bed Andy, so you got to do that. But you said that you was leaving, so is you gonna leave? And I don't think that Robin and Gary actually crossed paths because I'm trying to really make out where they're at. They're not at Andy's apartment, it doesn't look like. It also doesn't look like he's at her office. So I really can't tell, but Gary comes to confront Andy about what it is that she wants and what is going on. Sir, didn't you just say that you was going to your other lady that you told you loved over on the phone right in front of Andy? Y'all should be good and done by now. Where's this other hoe at? You ain't got a phone call to take with her now? What, are you, what is it that you want, Gary? And I know Andy didn't call you to come up here. I pray to God, Andy. I, I actually, I don't know that because I don't know what the hell Andy be thinking and what the hell Andy wants half of the time. <sighs> All right, so I'm going to reserve my drag to actually see an episode, but I'm tired of seeing Gary's face, honestly, y'all. And I'm tired of seeing him in seas with Andy. That is my full breakdown of the episode 20 trailer. We got to see after episode 19. Y'all, let me know what you thought about the trailer and what you anticipate with next week's episode in the comment section down below if you're new here hit that subscribe button turn on your bell notification so that you don't miss any of my sister's videos we are coming towards the end of season three y'all and it's getting good so we gotta talk let me know how you feel and what you think and i'm gonna see you in the next video bye